I'm Rob Vincent from Trilift Inc., also known as the Forklift Guy. And I'd like to congratulate you on making your decision to purchase the new Lindy MT12 lithium ion powered electric pallet jack. You made a great choice. The MT12 is a simple to use yet sophisticated piece of equipment that, if used correctly, will give you years of trouble free use. So, in this video, I'd like to go over the correct way to operate this piece of equipment as well as some of the safety features. The Lindy lithium ion charger can be mounted on a wall, put on a desk, or even mounted inside of a vehicle using a standard inverter, as long as it uses a standard household outlet plug. You want to use the plug that comes with it and plug it right into the charger there. Plug this into a standard household outlet and you're good to go. Now before using your jack for the very first time, you should ensure that you fully charge the battery. With the charger plugged in, let the charger go through its quick test cycle. The light on the right hand side will turn green, stating that everything is okay with the charger. Now this is the bottom of the battery. The battery has four pins and the other side has only two pins. So they would have to be matched up. Four pins to four pins. So that means the battery goes in this way. Do not force it. You will hear the charger go through its self-test and start to charge the battery. You'll see that the light on the right hand side is red. When that light turns green again and the fan stops, you'll know that the battery is fully charged. Once the battery is fully charged, you can put it into the truck. The orientation of putting the battery into the unit is equally as important. There are two pins on the far end and four pins on the left side if you were standing behind the jack. You want to make sure that the battery goes in the correct way also. Never force the battery in. By putting the battery in, which is actually very simple, just make sure where it says lithium ion faces forward toward the ends of the forks. Just put the battery in and it should lock down. With the battery inserted into the unit, it is time to insert the key. The key is magnetic. It's very simple and just drops straight into this small slot in the back. You will hear it click as it goes in correctly. Now the unit has the key installed. This is your emergency safety stop. That is for emergencies only. That is not to turn on and off the unit as you can break this and then it is costly. If you continuously push down to shut off the unit and down does cut all power to the unit, the unit will not run. It must be twisted slightly clockwise and the unit will have power again. Ensuring that you inserted a full charged battery, you do not have the emergency stop depressed and inserting the key should turn on your heads up display. Your digital display will tell you several things. It will give you the charge of your battery and it will also show you the amount of hours your machine has been used. Now you're ready to use your machine. First, raising and lowering. If you depress and hold this button, this will raise your forks. When you want to lower your forks, you just squeeze up on this handle. It's as simple as that. One of the safety features of this unit is it will not operate forward or reverse with the handle in a fully up position. Or a fully down position. With the handle in the standard operator position, forward, which is forks forward, the unit will operate. Reverse, which is towing at the wagon, will also operate. Another safety option, aptly so called, is the belly button switch. That is this button right here. 
If you're trapped up against something and you have nowhere to go, and this unit is coming back at you, and you don't realize you have nowhere to go, you will not get hurt as if this belly button switch is depressed when it reaches up against you, the unit will lurch forward six inches to a foot, so you do not get hurt. But the unit does have to be moving. It does not work just pressing the button. But if I go backwards and touch me, that is the unit itself moving forward. It's a great safety feature. And last but not least, what unit could ever consider himself safe without your horn? Right there on top. So to recap, belly button switch, accelerator, raise, lower, and horn. And there you have it. Easy instructions for the great choice that you've made. Thanks again for choosing the Lindy MT-12 lithium-ion electric pallet jack. Have a great day.